Hello May class and welcome to your strange English lesson, but an English lesson nevertheless. So in this term's uh, English, we will be looking at instructions. And we know that instructions are used to help us do something or fix something or build something or often we use instructions to make something. Instructions are things that tell us how to do something and in what order to do it. So if we were in school, we would be doing a fun, hot, uh, a fun hook lesson to try and get us excited about instructions and why we need them and getting us thinking why we use them. So it's a little bit strange for us to be doing it over the videos, but we are going to try. So I thought about all the things that we do at home that we need to follow instructions on how to do it. And it could be making our beds. It could be brushing our teeth, but I thought it's quite chilly outside. So let's talk about how we put on a jumper. So I've got my jumper here, All right? Brand new jumper that I got for Christmas. It's very exciting. I'm very excited. It's got a hood. It's really nice and warm. So I'm going to put it on and we're going to see if I do it correctly and if I've done it in the right order. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my arm in it. I'm going to put my head in it and I'm a little bit, I don't really know what's happening. Oh no. I've done something wrong and I'm not quite sure how to fix it. I think I'm going to need some help. Oh, got stuck. Right. So the first thing I need to do when I'm putting on a jumper is I need to find the front of it. So if I look at it, this has got a hood. So I know that the hood goes at the back. So it makes this the front of my, my jumper. So the first thing I need to do is get it over my head correctly. So I'm going to scrunch it up and then I'm going to make sure that my head, I'm going to put my head through the head hole. This is already looking much better. Then I need to spread it out. Then my left arm goes through the left arm of the jumper. I'm going to put it in. Make sure my arm comes out the other side. And my right arm is going to go through the right arm of my jumper. And then I'm going to pull it down. Make sure my hair's out. Right, now I'm ready to go outside. If it's very cold, I can put my hood up. Okay, now to put that on, I had to follow some instructions on how to do it. So first, I had to find the front of my jumper. Then I had to find which side I put my head through. And I found that this was the head hole, so my head needed to go in here. And I needed to make sure that my head or the, the hood was at the back and not the front so that I couldn't see. So then I pulled it on. And I have to pull it down the back. I put my left arm, for you it's right, but for me it's my left arm through the left armhole and my right arm through the right armhole. And then I was able to pull my jumper down. Now that may seem quite simple to you, but you can see that if I hadn't followed the instructions of how to put my hood on or put my jumper on, I got very tangled up. So it's important we can see to follow instructions in chronological order, which means making sure we do one thing first, then the next thing, then the next thing until we finally have completed our task. Now, how can you make this fun for you at home, you say? Well, I want you to have a think. What things do you do at home that you need to follow instructions for? Maybe you've got a new Lego set that builds something and there are steps that you need to follow to be able to build something. Maybe you've played one hour of coding online and you've had to follow instructions to complete the task given to you. Maybe it's something as simple as brushing your teeth. 
you have to do that in a very specific order to make sure that your teeth are nice and clean. Maybe you need to make your bed. Is there a way that you need to make your bed? What do you need to do first? Then what do you do? After that, what do you do? And finally, your bed should be made at the end of it. So, my challenge to you is this. I want you to find something that you can do at home that requires you to follow instructions step by step to finish the task. You can write these steps for me uh, on to Tapestry. You can upload them onto Tapestry. You can take some pictures of you doing it. You can make a video of you doing it. I would like you to show me how you do something at home, whether it be brushing your teeth, making your beds, making a sandwich. Maybe you want to make a jam sandwich. Show me how you use instructions at home to finish a task given to you. Don't forget to share it on Tapestry. We are going to be looking at it. We will have some time to talk through the instructions and talk through the task that we've given in our um, live lesson tomorrow. We'll talk through it and what you've done. So please, please, please do share with us what you're doing. Maybe you even want to keep track of the instructions that I'm going to give you in your computer lesson later on how to log into Teams. So keep track of what you do and share it with us. We'd love to see it.